All right, let's talk about the use of stop limit orders as conditional entries when the market is just slightly uncertain. What's happening now is Bitcoin has broke a support level, which I've actually just moved up, so I'm not showing the, the support level. It was approximately about, <clears throat> excuse me, 21,000 uh, on BTC USD perpetual. And what I'm going to do here is I figured out this level is a, it's kind of a key level. It's going to be a break above point for me to get into a long. So I'm going to set up a stop limit order. I'm going to put the stop at the lower trigger, which is going to be 21143. And the price that it takes is going to be 21144. I always just get it in a random random price as far as cents because I want to avoid uh, any kind of a buy wall. So um, <clears throat> we're going to do a stop limit order at this level here. So if the price, price breaks above 21143 right there, then I'm going to take that along and it's going to trigger it at, trigger the buy at 21144. So um, move that to about 90% and hit buy long. Okay, the order is submitted. Now the order is down in my open orders. Set up to buy. Mark price 21143. So that's it. And if it doesn't get to that point and goes back down, just fine because it's a conditional order. It's not going to take out a long unless the price goes up to that point and crosses that threshold. Take care.